All right, I'm nearing the end of this OT project here. Pretty much the only thing left on my list. L little things, like I'm going to put a new lens on that. I guess I'm just going to cut one out of Lexan. Uh, it, the LED market's kind of crappy. It seems like none of them last long unless you want to spend 40 bucks per bulb, and it's just not that important to me. So that's one little thing, but overall, most of the stuff on my list has been taken care of. And the only major thing left is the tires. I've got the rear tires mounted and everything. Uh, I'll put the, that'll be really easy to put those on. But these fronts here, um, I'm hesitant to just slap new tires on it and go because what I want to do is put new bearings on. And so, even though this is not the wheel that was on here, I went ahead and threw this on real quick just to show the entire process of removing one of these wheels, taking the tire off, removing the seal and the races, installing new races and bearings and seals and all that, P packing the bearings, setting the preload, everything. So uh, yeah, I'm just going to show that whole process I guess. Now, notice how loose this is. And this nut is all the way tight. Keen observers will notice that this washer is wrong here. The washer needs to be big enough to slide onto the shaft so that you can actually set the preload. This washer is bottoming out on that shoulder. So, somebody put the wrong washer on here, which means you can't even set the preload. So. All right, so another thing I want to show real quick, uh, this wheel had a 16 by 6.5 dash 8 tire on it, which is not correct. Uh, this, look at the size of this rim, the width of it, compared to one of these. So, this would have had a 16 by 6.5 8, and that would have had a 16 by 7.5 8 on it, so I guess they just somehow stretched it on there maybe that explains why the bead had broken loose on that thing just from going flat and the weight sitting on it i don't know kind of strange but uh yeah this would have been for the professional series to have the wider front wheels so yeah so let's get this back off of here two spacers i guess you know what we'll do let's put this stuff in this cap just to kind of Oh, and I found a washer that's the right diameter. It's kind of rusty, but I don't think that matters. So we'll use that when we put it back together. So, inside there is another tapered roller bearing. Like this, facing the other direction. But it's trapped inside there by a seal. And so to get that out, you just hammer on this, the bearing itself with, the, with a punch to punch that seal out. If you were going to just replace the seal, then you'd pop that back in there, install your new seal, and put her back to work. So the first thing we're going to do is knock that seal out of the back side with a punch hitting directly on the tapered roller bearing. kind of sketchy but it does work eventually like that so here's our seal which got all mangled here's the inside roller bearing seems to be okay I guess I don't know discard that we're gonna discard this too but you know for now, we'll just stick it there, I guess. So now we've got these races in here. 
and we're going to drive those out too. And when I get them out, I'll show you how there's these little tabs bent in from the outside to stop them so that you can only go so deep with them. So... And there's that one. So let's see if we can. I don't know if you're even going to be able to see those tabs inside there. They're like little bump outs. Yeah, see those little bumps right there in the reflection? Right there. So they will stop you from driving the race too deep. And then when those races stop there, they're tapered outward so that. These two, however much you tighten them, sets the preload because they're multi-directional. They take force from this direction and from that direction, thus being tapered roller bearings. So, the new bearings and races are supposed to come today, supposedly. This is a Sunday. I'm not big on this Sunday delivery day thing. I mean, I guess it works out for me, but it seems wrong. But anyways, when that when those come in... I'll show how to drive those in with this thing. I think that's the right. I think that'll work. And then for the stem, just get you a knife from the back side and just kind of cut through it. Watch it because it'll it'll go after it gets past it. And once you're to that point, they pull out real easily from this side. Clean that up real good. Pull the new one in from the back with some silicone based lubrication and the stem is good to go. So now this thing's totally stripped and now these. So all that was to show just the process of taking it apart. These wheels are going on the Onan project. So the narrower, I've got 16 by six and a half eighths for these brand new. This one, when I took this wheel apart, the inside of it was very, very rusty. So I sanded the crap out of it and put chassis saver all along the inside just so it wouldn't literally rust through. And this one here is mostly in pretty good condition. The lip, the, the bead, the lip, whatever you call that, is kind of bad. But I think I can just wire wheel those down and they'll be good enough. And they'll be in contact with the rubber anyway. And so as long as I don't make a habit of leaving this thing out in the rain it ought to be okay so so yeah when i get the new bearings and races and everything these are the ones that i'm going to show putting installing those into anyway and then putting new tires on them new stems and uh yeah these are the ones that are going to go on that own project and then it'll be completely done so so here we have the new bearings and races. I guess these are uh, trailer, common trailer bearings or something. These are LM11949 for the bearing and then LM11910 for the race. And so since the bearing is going to go in from that direction, the race needs to also go in like that. So We'll start that like that. Get this uh, bearing and race driver. I wonder if that'd be better if I'd flip that around. I'm just going to use it like that, I think. Okay, that one's pretty well seated. I think that one is too. So, there you go. Now, bearing in from that side. Bearing in from here. Put the stem in. This is the side that will get the seal. 
And there you have it.